Hi everyone and welcome back to Vancraft Chronicles. Now today is a slightly different video and I wanted to talk to you about van security. Now more specifically while your van is parked at home. Now I'm quite lucky that the van's parked off the road and on a driveway outside the front of the house. But I still got concerns that you know somebody might come sort of snooping around in the middle of the night um, seeing if there's anything they can do, you know, do a smash and grab. Now I don't have much in the van because I'm still kitting it out, but I do have the solar panels on the roof. And at some point when it, you know, it's, if it's ever gonna get finished, um, I think these are projects that will always sort of have something to do, but there's gonna be things in the van at some point that somebody might uh, want to, you know, try and get into and steal. So with that in mind, I, from, uh, I have purchased this uh, Aosu 2K wireless camera. Now, one of the benefits of this, it's solar powered, so I don't have to run any power leads to it, or you know, sort of try and take it off to charge up um, every few months. So it's solar powered, which is great. Uh, it's full pan and tilt, so once it's on the wall, I can sort of then position the camera to get the best angle. It's got uh, motion tracking, so if something does trigger off, the camera will focus on whatever you know is, is triggered the uh, the motion. And record that and obviously it's controlled via an app so you can view your camera uh, if you're away from home or it's in the middle of the night and you don't want to get out of bed and sort of poke your head out the window you can view your camera sort of from the you know the comfort of your own phone which is really great and then if you need to you can download that footage pass it on to neighborhood watch the police uh, or anything like that um, so without further ado let's get this unboxed and have a look inside so here we have the the front of the box which gives you uh, a small picture of the actual camera itself. You can see the solar panel at the front. These are the four sort of LEDs that will illuminate um, any, any air at night. This is the Aosu 2K outdoor camera. It operates on 2.4 gigahertz. Uh, obviously, it says here, works with Google Home. And other than that, there is very little on the box. Just some basic information there. And that really is all on the box. So, one sticker, which you can put on, on your window or something like that, let people know that there is 24 seven monitoring. The booklet. Again, support numbers on the front, what's included, so you get the camera, you get the screws, there is a USB-C charging cable. Now, in the winter, I know I will probably need to, probably once, maybe twice over the winter months, um, to probably plug a USB cable in, and that's just the way the house is positioned. Um, with the, you know, sort of in relation to the sun during the winter. Um, you got a positioning sticker, so that's basically a little templates, so you know where to screw on the wall. Obviously your security sticker, and obviously this quick start guide. You got the product overview, two antennas, the solar panel, the status LED, uh, so that gives you all that information. And then underneath, the reset button, micro SD card, the USB port, there's obviously a speaker as well. So you're going to need, obviously, an SD card to pop into this to record any footage. There is the QR code to actually set up um, to get the app from the App Store. And it will talk about installing the app on, the cam uh, on, your, on your phone. And then just a bit of information obviously where to position. So camera field of view, motion detection zone, um, bit of position about sort of, obviously you don't want to put the, the camera uh, under shelter or something that's going to cover the solar panel because obviously it won't charge. So you're going to need some, some sunlight on there. And the tools needed to actually mount the actual camera onto the wall. So that's the instructions. have one USB-C charge cable. 
the pack of screws and the wall plugs. And there we have the actual mount that's going to go onto the wall and the camera I'm assuming fits onto that. And then the actual camera itself. Oh, there we go. We've got the oops, the sticker guide that will go on the wall. That will give you the pattern where you need to drill. And this is the actual camera itself. So, so a panel on the top. Two antennas are obviously on the side. That's obviously where this bracket will sit in and attach. Then you've got the camera, There's a, there is a, I'll take this off later, but there is a, looks like a, a protective cover on that for the moment. So you've got the, the four LEDs, infrared and the actual camera itself. Underneath here, We've got the like a reset button, the power button, and the SD card. I don't know how clearly you can see that. Um, but yeah, reset button, power button, SD card there. And that's like a rubber. And that sort of obviously goes in nice and tight. And that keeps that nice and sealed from the weather. And somewhere, I'm guessing, oh, here we go. Under here, we have the USB-C charge port. So that looks like, actually, if you wanted to, oops, if you wanted to keep that permanently on a USB-C, you probably can do, and that's a little rubber seal there. But if not, that just pops back in place and then keeps, again, that, Keeps all that nice and sealed and protected from the elements. All right, so next thing is, let's get some charge in this. Power it on, install the app, see how easy the app is to install and connect to, um, connect to the wireless. Once you've got the verification email, you can go back and there we go. Type in my password. Save my password. Right, so add device. And our Bluetooth. Right. Okay. That's... So that's picked it up straight away, which is a nice, simple, simple setup there. Add that. Now in the past, I've normally had to hold the camera hold the phone and the camera together there's a qr code that it will scan but this was setting it by bluetooth so that was nice and quick so i'm going to put this on my device network the camera is connecting to your wi-fi network it may take a moment please wait for a while so should we put the pack oops oh there we go so i guess that's doing a range Test so it goes to its extremes. There we go. So connected successfully, continue. Obviously this will go outside the front door. Skip that. There is motion at the front door. Oh. <laughs> Continue. So this is just telling you a bit about the app. The settings. Right, let's just take a sticker off. Right. <laughs> there we go. Right. <laughs> Get rid of the noise. So that was because the speaker was on and obviously we're getting a bit of feedback there. 
Okay, so we've got front door detected. You've got the time in the top corner. Let's have a quick look at some of the settings. So, so standard and Ultra HD. I guess that's allowing you to save uh, we'll do limited access for the moment. Uh, we'll cancel that. We'll sort that out later. Uh, oh, so that's, I think that's recording now directly to, to my phone. Um, again, it's obviously picking up motion at the front door. Let's stop that. So I'll hold this up. That's actually quite responsive. Oh. <laughs> So there is a button that records and it does a, a 360 look around. Excellent. Illumination. <laughs> that is actually very bright, I don't know if you can. Well, we'll test some of these features out once it's up and running on the wall, but that seems to be tracking me at the moment. So if I move, oh. Yeah, it sort of seems to be following me, but I might need to calibrate that. And you can also click anywhere on the camera saying, motion detected. Yeah, we'll have a look at that, some of these features. Once it's up and running on the wall, we'll have a look at some of these features. So, now that I've got it connected, let's get it mounted and have a look. Now that the camera is on the wall, um, you can sort of see it just, just up there. We'll take a look at the app and how the camera Sort of acts. One of the in features I'm interested in is this this tracking. So when we go to the app, we're obviously presented with this screen here, and then if we click on the play button, we'll get a live a live view of the camera. There you go. Now, when I walk in front of it, what we should get is it start to track me. There you go. That's the camera tracking me as I move around. Which I think is a really cool feature. I've had a camera before where essentially, once it's in position, you have to manually move it and it won't track anybody coming to the door. So as soon as they go under it, that's it, you've lost sight of them. This should track. As I walk around, you're going to pick me up moving this way a little bit. That's got me coming right to the door, hasn't it? Which I think is actually a very cool feature. And obviously, once it detects somebody at the door you get a no notification and it will save that to the SD card should you wish to download it later. Now the next thing uh, we'll have a quick look at is its night vision and what I've done here is I've used the camera sort of with the lights you know illuminating the area and also what it looks like under infrared.
So this is the main screen you're greeted with when you go into the app. Now there are this is the uh, this way this is the iPhone app. There is obviously an Android app as well. So this is the when you load the app, this is the screen you get into. Now this will show you the the last recorded image, which obviously it says here was 11 minutes ago. And we've got a number of options uh, from here. So starting at the top left, we've got uh, the, the three little lines. Now they'll take us into um, your account management, shared device, and a few other bits of information. Now the account management will just go into, it will allow you to sort of change your password. You can see your email address. The shared device. Now, if you want to share your device with uh, another user, you can do it by somebody nearby, um, if, they, if they're in the app, or you can send them an email, and then you can choose that level of access, whether they are just viewing the footage only, or that you allow them to change settings. Now, I'm not using the cloud recording, but you can obviously go into the cloud recording, and at the moment, obviously, it's asking me to subscribe. I'm using, uh, obviously, local storage for mine, then you've got frequently asked questions, feedback, you can obviously contact them for support. About will just give you the app version and other information about devices you've got registered. Other settings, the terms and privacy notice and log out. Now you've got a little plus on the top right and obviously the cloud button. The little plus will take you in so if you want to add another device um, to to the app. On the actual image where we're sort of showing the camera at the moment, again that footage that we took uh, a little bit earlier, you've got a couple of options there. You've got snooze. Now if you know for you got a window cleaner coming around or you know some work being done out the front, you can actually snooze the um, or the do not disturb and what that will do is that will just turn off notifications so it will still record everything but it will just turn off notifications for you know 30 minutes up to four hours you've got events now these are the events that it's recorded for that day and obviously it will store those and you can go back now obviously mine is local um, and it will start playing and obviously this is what we recorded earlier and there you can see obviously it's tracking me which I think is a really cool feature now there are obviously two uh, motions it's picked up from today and then you've got um, so you can go back a day and you can scroll through all the, the activities that have been recorded for that day and so on Um, in settings now this is really where you get into setting up the device or how you want it to operate so obviously you've got to turn the camera off and on share device which we've covered motion detection now motion detection basically if it sees movement it will start recording um, human only so we've got the video recording is enabled will detect human shapes and disable when detecting other movements. So basically, um, if, guessing if a dog walks through, it shouldn't shouldn't record. Um, so this will only start recording if it detects a human shape. Human tracking, which is what we've seen, um, it will m follow that person as they move up, up up your drive. Previous cameras have had, even though they've been pan and tilt the direction that it's facing once they walk under the camera or out of view it stops you know you, you lose you lose sight of them with the human tracking it will follow them so as they come right up to the door the camera's sort of pointing down at them uh, detection sensitivity i've just put that on uh, left that on automatic um auto alarm now i've got this disabled um I sort of don't you know I don't want to, uh, any any alarm to sort of go off when somebody comes to the door and get frighten them to death so I've, I've left that feature off but again if you wanted to do that especially if you're going on holiday or anything like that away for a few days you could enable this feature um, just to let people know that they are being watched notification settings um, again I've left these 
um, as is but obviously you can tailor the notifications for how you want this to uh, notify you of any any movement cloud recording well I'm not doing that um, again it's all local to an SD card you've got the 2k video mode again smooth which apparently smooth mode gives priority to picture stability when there's poor network conditions so the whole bunch of settings we can do here and at the bottom of a lot record audio so if there's a conversation taking place um, with somebody at the door obviously that's going to get recorded got battery management scheduled sleep so I'm it puts the uh, the camera to sleep at certain certain periods and obviously what that will do is that will disable or turn off detection and recording so there we go we can adjust the times but again I'm leaving that feature off LED status light on the front you'll see just a, a little it's a blue light um, you can integrate it with um, Amazon Alexa Google Home um, I've not done any of that the about device just gives you a bunch of information about the actual particular device what network it's set to and as I said earlier um, I've got mine on like a guest network uh, of my of my router firmware updates if there are any firmware updates they'll appear here and they're really quick when I first got this there was one one update which was fairly quick to run it basically you click download it does everything for you there is a quick start uh, feature and obviously a reconnect to Wi-Fi and remove device if you're if it's broken or you're selling it or, or something like that so that's just a quick look at the app itself uh, and then along the bottom again cloud storage I'm not using that online help and support which basically just gives you support numbers for the US the UK Germany and Japan okay so now that I've got the camera set up and it's installed out the front and tested out a couple of the features what do I think well the construction of the actual camera itself is typical plastic uh, there's nothing sort of special there setting up of the app was actually really really simple and it took a few minutes there was one firmware update which took again a couple of minutes to to install and that was again really really simple mounting it on the wall you get a little template that tells you where to drill in the booklet it tells you sort of what the drill bit size you need so again that's really sort of useful information um, I'm not the handiest of DIY people and I tend to either use a drill bit that's too small or one that's too large um, but this was quite nice and simple it told you the drill bit you needed to use again there are three screws to mount it and then it just slides and clicks into place the solar panel is obviously at the right, uh, the right the angle for you now obviously the only issue with that is you need to make sure that wherever you're going to mount your camera it's going to get some sunshine now at the moment today is very overcast the sun will get definitely during the summer we tend to get a fair bit of sun out the front of the house so i'm not worried over that in the winter i might need to sort of charge it uh, maybe once or twice uh, and that's just because the sun's obviously a bit lower uh, and sort of by lunchtime it's sort of at the side of the house where obviously it's not going to see any daylight uh, so but that's you know that's not an issue with the actual device itself that's an issue obviously where the front of the house faces um, overall some of the features of the uh, the camera now I've had a couple in in, in the past uh, and they tend to be sort of either static you point them in the direction or I've had a, a pan and tilt one and which is great you can move it about what I really like about this one is the motion tracking is that it will follow somebody and alert you if somebody's lingering as you saw um, earlier on in the video so it's going to tell you if somebody's lingering around which I think is a brilliant feature uh, and I like the way it sort of tracks which is fantastic 
the quality uh, of the camera seems really, really good. Quite impressed with that. Um, you see on some sort of CTV that, you know, when you're looking at it, it looks okay, but then when you want to pick out some details, you know, you, you just can't, um, which can sometimes make actually the footage a little bit useless. Overall, I'm pretty impressed uh, with what I've seen from this camera. Again, it's not overly expensive for what you're getting. You're getting, you know, a solar panel, so it will charge if it's in, you know, and if, if it's in the right place in your house, you know, you probably can sort of install it and forget about it. Um, well, I think it's really great. And the other features that it, it's 2K camera, it illuminates uh, at night, which is really good, which, because obviously if you've got just the infrared one, you're gonna lose a lot of detail. The fact that this has got four LEDs that will, you know, sort of highlight the area uh, where the camera is looking, I think is again, a great feature. The online cloud storage, um, it's great if, you know, and that adds a bit of protection that like somebody was to climb up and rip it off the wall, you've lost your footage, which obviously is gonna be sort of the problem that I would have, but that's gonna involve getting a ladder out and, you know, it's not as easy as to get it off the wall because uh, it's not that low down, it's quite high up. So again, I'm not too worried, I've got an SD card and if I need to, I can use the app and just pull the video footage straight to my phone um, if, if I need to, so I'm pretty happy with that. What I'll do is I'll leave uh, links to this in the description below if anybody is interested. Again, really happy with this. If you've got any questions or any comments, please leave them in the section below and I'll do my best to answer. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up and a like. Really appreciate that, it helps me, helps the channel. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you all next time.